my name is Sarah Fletcher and I'm very pleased to introduce this virtual art exhibition, Show Me Your Dreamland. So the idea for this came about because Emma Morrissey and I have previously done two other virtual exhibitions during this lockdown period and after the second one it occurred to me that in fact doing a virtual exhibition means that we could work with any other artist anywhere in the world and so I decided I wanted to reach out and invite some of my artist friends from back in Australia to work together with some UK artist friends on a collaborative virtual exhibition. And what I wanted to do was to talk about where we go when we dream and how this is a common human experience, but everybody's are quite different. For me, this was definitely a challenge. As you know, I don't really like working from my head. So this was the least reference picture based I've worked. It's been a lot of fun and I think everyone's come up with quite different interpretations of the theme. So let's meet our other artists. Hi, I'm Margaret Fletcher from South Australia. I have just recently rediscovered my love of painting through watercolours. I dream in colours with little dialogue, mostly of the Australian bush and life outdoors, away from suburban life. And for this exhibition, I focus on the landscapes of our dreams, creating a feeling of being drawn into the painting, like drifting into a dream. Now, I'm just going to load up my um, palette knife with a few of the colours and then we'll just sort of see what happens. Now I've got the clear out and while it's wet we want to scrunch it as it's going on it's creating nice patterns so you just sort of want to scrunch it so that it makes these patterns like that like squares and triangles and really odd shapes I'm Ray. I'm from the UK. In my painting, I typically work in oils, often using quite heavy and expressive mark making, and usually on a larger scale. For this exhibit, I've softened my approach and used the medium in a lighter and more fluid way in order to capture the, the real essence of dreamscapes. Within these paintings, I've tried to capture not just the places themselves, but the narratives of dreams, the, the psychological richness, how we live in them, and the truths that present themselves, and how worlds come to be woven within them. This project has allowed me to look closer at my own dreams, and I've found lots of climate anxiety, lots of overwhelm, but also love. My name is Zina. Currently I am based in the UK, but originally I come from Germany. My accent probably gives me away there. Art and crafts are my hobbies beside many other things. I only started using watercolours about a year ago and am very captivated by the medium, although there's much for me to learn. As qualified art historian and literature scientist, I'm more used to the role of analysing and coordinating art. This is the first exhibition I take part in as an artist myself, and I am massively honoured to get an insight into how other artists work, and even dream. I painted all pictures for this exhibition in watercolour, experimenting with techniques and my abilities. In the process of working on this virtual exhibition, I realised that my dreams are not very dreamy. They lack a sense of mystery that is often associated with dreams. Instead, they are clear events and pictures, often even close to real life, which just don't add up to make sense. My dreams are therefore characterized by their irritating and whimsical nature. Even a nightmare can appear hilarious in retrospective. Also, my dreams are very much influenced by verbal communication. 
In all of my dreams, language plays an important role, although I wouldn't be able to tell if I had dreamt in English or German the next morning. Hi there, my name is Emma Morrissey and I am a UK-based artist. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the artworks I've been creating for this little art collective. So the theme is based on dreams. So for my artwork, I wanted to base these pieces on some of the darker and unusual dreams that we have. And I wanted to replicate this with a combination of darker tones, darker colors, and bright, unusual colors that you wouldn't usually see. I created these pieces in a mixed media approach. So I've done a base of watercolor. I've gone on top of that with some color pastels, some color pencils, and then I've picked out some of the finer detail with some marker pens and uh, uploaded the images into my computer and I've just upped the contrast and added uh, some special effects just to kind of give that otherworldly glow that I wanted some of the brighter pieces to have. And I wanted this really to symbolize that REM sleep that we have when we are dreaming or we're just going into sleep or we're just coming out of sleep or we wake up and some of the unusual things that happen in our dreams, uh, things that we can't explain. So I really wanted to try and bring that out in these pieces and sort of tell a story through them so that you're going on a journey with me through these pieces. My name is Emily. I've been a filmmaker and an artist for quite a long time, but I'm now also studying to become a botanist and ecologist, so I've got a lot of varied interests. Um, my artworks for this exhibition I did on wood um, using acrylic and pencil, um, which is a technique that I've been doing a little bit recently and I'm really, really enjoying, so this was a great opportunity to do some more of that. My dreams are very varied. Um, I dream in a lot of colour and sound. Um, sometimes I dream as myself, sometimes I'm playing somebody else, and sometimes I'm not really a character in the dream at all. I'm very interested in dreams, both my own dreams and other people's dreams, and I record my dreams a lot. All of us dream, some remember, some forget, some lose ourselves in a personal wonderland while others find a shadow realm of half-remembered fears or a grey place of ambiguity changing in meaning moment to moment. Something calls us to reach out, trying to share these sleep-bound experiences, and yet we can never truly show another person how we dream. Seeking to understand, to connect, I ask you, will you show me your dreamland? Could I walk with you there a moment? Can you tell me where it is you go when you dream? Light in the darkness, or darkness in the light? both inside looking out, but also outside on that street, surrounded by never-ending traffic, all the smog with it. I was trapped there, in the rain, in the cold, and in the grey. There is always something new in the bush to explore and enjoy, a mystery waiting to be discovered. The road is long and barren, the middle of nowhere. When suddenly an abandoned house of sandstone or mud appears, its empty rooms and niches carved from the rock, I dream it again and again. Panda 
in a hole, no idea why, but it doesn't look good for him. I had an unsettling dream where my mother and I were camping in a barn as we were traveling somewhere and there were all of these fires around the barn that were burning and no people, I don't know who, lit the fires or why and it felt kind of dangerous to stay there. Suddenly I could see bright colors. I turned around and I was stood in front of some ruins, a building. Have I been here before? We'd been hiking for days and suddenly come across the most beautiful sight. A landscape full of these rivers that fall into craters, these beautiful waterfalls just waiting to be explored. And then suddenly this grumpy, frumpy old woman just stops us in our tracks and tells us we can't. She says that she's been there all of her life, and that she's sick of tourists coming around thinking they own the place and destroying it all. She sends us back home. Standing on a hill on a hazy day, I just want to run and jump and fly away. escape, rescue, hide or travel far. Over and over in my dreams I take to the air, the world mapped out below me. unsettling scene, a pig with broken legs holding onto a power line high above the ground while a storm is approaching. I know I have to try and save it, but how? Suddenly I was out of the darkness and in a forest of lights, I was surrounded by bright greens, fern greens, and deep, lush greens, all different shades and tones. So there we are. At dusk, at the end of the world, sat in a cafe. In the background, in the distance somewhere, three ships appear, like the modern equivalent of the three horsemen of the apocalypse. And we sit, and there is despair, and there is grief. There is acceptance, and there is love. Is the outside inside, or is the inside outside? Could we live closer to nature? There's a meadow, hidden in a tree-screened hollow, the path to which will not appear unless I lead you there. 
Here inhibition falls away, neither bloom nor meadow grass harms our skin. No secrets are kept here, nothing is unsaid, and beyond the trees, nothing is told. Those who have entered here, have entered my heart. Life between here and there. My parents and childhood friend come visiting. We enjoy a ferry ride with gin and tonic out of plastic cups. If only the thing I'm searching for wasn't buried underneath all these piles of clothes lying around everywhere. I dreamed I was pulling water weeds out of a creek and the creek was surrounded by so much greenery and there were lilies and egrets that both had these frilly edges and everything was so lush. six years old and I'm wandering around scared and then I come into this room and I realize it's my old classroom and in my old school and finally I find someone they're there waiting for me the river flows and the colors change bouncing in the shapes around me My parents shared in dreams I find a secret way. Tunnels, stairs and trapdoors spiral down into the earth to a huge banquet hall. But beware seeking this place in adulthood, my instincts say. The way up may soon be too small and you could be trapped. Dreamscape Wordscape. Dreams made out of stories, of chapters, of paragraphs, of sentences, of words, of letters, a letter. No night without speech, communication, language. in dark, a voice I can't quite hear, glancing around behind closed eyelids, feeling there's someone near. I'm at this fair and it's full of people. All of a sudden I'm told that I should be running my stool. I didn't know I had a stool. When I get there it's full of my paintings. And people everywhere. Paintings everywhere. It's just overwhelming. The captivating moon drawing us in like a moth to the flame.
out in the scrub the big old hole stands. A makeshift farm-like building with rehearsal stage, bunk bed cabins and rustic activity spaces. Strange groups mix here, and tasks and desires are twisted, the goal ever shifting. The car park outside our flat is not a nice place to be. Regardless, I am getting ready for my wedding. Crouched between cars, a tiny mirror hanging on the brick wall. A light moment causes me to recover to the garden instead, which is a slight improvement. A few months ago, I dreamed that I was doing an art piece, that I was painting this woman in a field, and the whole dream was just my perspective while I was doing this artwork and so it was a very strange and wonderful experience to recreate that piece while awake. Dreams both connect us and divide us, being shared and yet so varied. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through our dreams and shared in our insight into sleeping minds. We hope that in sharing our dreams, we've connected with you, and we wonder, how different are yours?